Lava 20 from Owl Waterproofing is an extremely durable liquid waterproofing system that is both versatile and flexible. Here is the Lava 20 product range. The LPU mastic, which is used to fill and smooth any holes or cracks. Next you will see the quick primer and the super quick primer. Next you will see Lava Detail 20 and Lava 20. Lava Detail 20 is fiber reinforced for details and Lava 20 is the main coating. It can be used on its own or in conjunction with the polyester fabric tape or the chop strand matting. Lava 20 comes in 6 kilo cans, 15 kilo cans and 25 kg cans and 1 kg cans. There is also some top coats for the Lava 20 system which are a clear top coat which is totally transparent and can be used with quartz etc. We also have some coloured top coats, including an anthracite dark grey top coat, and we can custom make colours for special projects. Lava 20 can be used to waterproof almost anything, including new or existing flat roofs, balconies, valleys, bathrooms, car parks, bridges and more. Lava 20 can be applied to a number of surfaces including timber, OSB, plywood, felt, asphalt, single ply, insulation, concrete, metal, asbestos and cement board and more. It has a really fast application and most jobs can be done in a day. It cuts down the cost of traditional applications by up to 80%. It can be applied in one or two coats. The system is also extremely durable and will withstand all types of impacts and traffic. It can be used in balconies and walkways, car parks, etc. It is also extremely flexible and impact resistant, which means it can be used in areas with expansion and contraction it will expand and contract with the surface throughout the hot and cold months of the year whilst being able to take impact at uv from the sun and all types of weather conditions the system is waterproof it comes with a 25 year waterproofing guarantee it can also take ponding water and is fire rated and it can be finished with anti-slip finishes by using the clear top coat and a quartz or aggregate finish. We will now highlight the procedure for applying the Lava 20 over a new timber deck, either OSB or WPB marine grade plywood. Step one is the surface prep, which is basically have the surface clean and dry from dust or contaminants. Step two, use the LPU mastic to fill in any joints, holes or gaps or countersunk screw holes. So basically fill and smooth all dips or gaps. Step three is prime the entire area with the quick prime. This usually takes about 10 minutes to go off or 15 minutes. Step four is reinforcing all joints or transitions with the L reinforcing tapes. Step five coating the entire area with lava 20 waterproofing this is the 2.5 mil of hard wearing liquid rubber step six top coating there are some optional top coats which is the clear top coat and also the dark gray top coat as shown here in the picture as you will see here all joints between the osb have a bead of mastic and also the joints in the fillets and upstands any holes in the deck 
which have countersunk screws are being filled with PU mastic and scraped smooth. Here you will see now the deck has been filled and smooth with PU mastic and there is no irregularities. We now have a smooth surface to work from. Step two, prime the area. Apply a single coat of L quick primer or super quick primer over the entire area. If you're using the super quick primer, it will cure in 10 to 15 minutes. Now if you're using the quick primer, it is a two to three or four hour cure, depending on the humidity, temperature and weather conditions. You need only apply a very light coat of the L primer over the entire area. A primer unit will usually cover about 20 square meters per tin. The next type of tape reinforcement is using the polyester reinforcing fabric tape. For this process you use some of the Lava 20 liquid rubber waterproofing and you embed the polyester fabric on top of it and then you apply more Lava 20 on top of it again. Creating a liquid followed by mesh tape followed by liquid layer. This, is, this process is called a wet on wet application. As you can see here, the Lava 20 is being applied over the joint, which has PU mastic in it, followed by primer over the entire area. Now a bed of Lava 20 is being laid. The polyester fabric tape is now being cut to size before being placed over the joint. Straighten out any creases and install the tape directly over the joint patting it into place. You will then apply more Lava 20 over the entire area. This will complete the joint reinforcement. The benefit of this tape is, it is a fully liquid and chemical bond, which means it is low lying and does not have a high profile and it is excellent adhesion. Once applied, these joints will hardly be seen in your new roof. Here are some examples of roofs that have reinforced the joints with the Lava 20 and fabric tape. Again, Lava 20 liquid followed by reinforcing fabric tape, polyester reinforcing fabric tape followed by more Lava 20. This creates a strong chemically bonded joint reinforcement. Step four is applying the Lava 20 waterproofing system. Materials you'll need, it can be applied by roller, brush or squeegee. You can also use some trop strand matting if required. On timber, it is not 100% essential, so it can be applied unreinforced over a timber surface, which saves a huge amount of time on installation and labor. Open up your Lava 20, mix your Lava 20 catalyst into the Lava 20 drum. You are applying up to three or four kgs per square meter. We recommend 2.5 kgs per square meter, up to three kgs per square meter as a guideline. It can be applied in a single coat or in two coats. If you are using catalyst, it can be applied in one coat up to three mil thick, or it can be applied in two coats without catalyst. Always thoroughly mix your Lava 20. You can then apply your Lava 20 with a brush or roller. You can use a squeegee to spread the material and a roller to back roll it. Contractors tend to use different methods. Most people just use a roller and take the material straight out of the bucket and roll it out onto the roof or deck. 
always leave a nice thick layer of lava 20 of about two or three mil. Although it's not essential, you can always add some chop strand matting to give your surface, roof, balcony, or deck some added strength. It never hurts and it's not essential, but if you want to go the extra mile, you can use some chop strand matting. We do, however, recommend the chop strand matting on felt or asphalt roofs when using the Lava 20 system, but we'll get back to that later. Here is a little example of same. Here is your roof now complete with Lava 20. There is a minimum of 2.5 millimeters of Lava 20 applied throughout the entire area. Lava Detail 20 was used in the outlets and corners of the skylights. Here is an example of a couple of roofs finished with Lava 20 with the light grey finish. The last step is your optional top coating. We recommend the dark grey top coat. Simply apply another layer of dark grey top coat directly onto the Lava 20. If you are applying inside 48 hours, you do not need to prime and it can be applied directly to lava 20. If it is over 48 hours or if the egg surface has gone dirty, you can rub it with xylene or give it another layer of quick prime, a very light layer of super quick prime or quick prime before applying the dark gray top coat. The dark gray top coat can be left as is or if you wish you can apply quartz on top of it and top coat on top of it. Here you can see the dark grey top coat being applied directly to the Lava 20. And that's it, all done. Here's your beautiful new Lava 20 roof with a dark grey top coat. Here is an estate of roofs which have been all covered with the Lava 20 system finished with a dark grey top coat. This is the choice for many builders and flat roofers across the nation because of its competitive pricing, fast application and super high performance as it is durable and will expand and contract with all surfaces making this the best flat roof waterproofing system on the market. We will now discuss the application of the Lava 20 system over felt roofs and asphalt roofs. Step one is surface prep. Step two, priming. Step three, Lava 20 waterproofing application. And step four, top coats. Step one. Ensure your surface is clean and dry. We recommend using a power washer for dirty areas. If it is clean, a broom can also be used. Use the jet washer to remove all algae and debris from the roof. Use a broom to sweep the puddles clear and ensure the surface is clean and dry before application. Step two, priming and sealing the area. Use the Lava 20 Quick Primer or the Lava 20 Super Quick Primer to prime and consolidate the surface. The Super Quick Primer sets in about 10 to 15 minutes and the Quick Primer is from 2 to 4 hours. Step 3. Waterproofing with Lava 20. Materials required is your Lava 20 waterproofing system your Lava 20 catalyst, a mixing paddle, roller brush or squeegees for the application. You will also need chop strand matting or geotextile matting when using Lava 20 with felt or asphalt surfaces. Step one, add your catalyst into the Lava 20 and mix thoroughly. Apply a thick layer of Lava 20 onto the primed surface and then apply the chop strand matting or geotextile matting into the Lava 20. It will then 
gets soaked into the lava 20 material apply another heavy layer of lava 20 over the entire area again creating a fully reinforced waterproofing system so lava 20 followed by matting followed by another thick layer of lava 20. You will then have a fully reinforced layer of lava 20 over the entire area. You can use the polyester uh, tape, fabric tape on corners and joints. Again, you can use the lava detail 20 on awkward areas such as corners, upstands, skylights and outlets etc. Lava 20 detail is a fiber reinforced liquid which is thixotropic which means it can be applied on vertical surfaces without dripping. It is permanently elastic and it is fiber reinforced so it is really strong and will handle a lot of movement and thermal shock between surfaces and substrates. It's great around pipes, flashings, chimneys, wall to floor connections, gutters, valleys, outlets etc. Here you will see the lava detail 20 being applied around a pipe. It's perfect for tricky areas and rounded surfaces or awkward angles. This is a felt balcony which is going to be given the anti-slip finish over the Lava 20 waterproofing system. Care is given to all roof details, transitions, joints, corners, etc. during the reinforcing process before coating with Lava 20. Here you can see an example of all the details on a roof waterproofed with lava detail 20 around the base of the pipe the start of the felt waterproofing detail on the deck and the termination of the felt waterproofing detail at the top of the pipe leaving no stones uncovered and fully reinforced this is now ready for lava 20 to be applied over the entire area and fully reinforced for this felt balcony the dark gray top coat is being applied directly to the lava 20 and quartz is being applied directly on top of the dark gray top coat which is acting as a base coat this will give an anti-slip finish you can also use clear top coat and quartz followed by more clear top coat or you can use dark grey top coat as seen here followed by quartz in this case gunmetal quartz Here is the entire roof area now finished with the dark grey top coat. Lava 20 on metal surfaces. Step one, surface prep and treating the rust. Step two, priming. Step three, taping any joints, cracks or holes, etc. Step four, waterproofing. As you can see from the photograph here, the rust is quite substantial. With this, we recommend treating the rust. It can be grinded off, but that's a lot of work. However, you can use a rust treatment such as Oatrol oil or similar. 
use the material to get into the pores of the metal this drives out air and moisture which may be hiding behind flaky coatings which are about to peel away so step one clean and dry the area and then apply the Oetrol oil rust treatment leave to 24 hours to dry now we can apply our lava 20 waterproofing system step two priming apply a light layer of lava 20 quick primer or lava 20 super quick primer over the entire area lava 20 super quick primer cures in 10 to 15 minutes so you can get working quickly as you can see here it is being applied by brush over the profiles of the container step 3 taping and reinforcing use lava 20 with some polyester fabric over any weak joints cracks etc apply the lava 20 and then embed your fabric tape polyester fabric tape over the crack or joint and then follow it by another layer of lava 20. this completes the joint reinforcement and will remain flexible and strong for years to come it's then ready to be overcoated again with more lava 20. the next step is the waterproofing with lava 20. simply coat the entire area with either one or two coats of lava 20. You can give it a lovely shiny light gray finish this is totally rubber and flexible it will take permanently ponding water and will expand and contract throughout the hot and cold months of the year no matter if it's 30 degrees of the sun or five foot of snow piled high lava 20 will keep you covered and waterproof we will now show you how to use the lava 20 waterproofing system on concrete roofs and balconies etc step one fill and smooth any joints with the lpu mastic step two tape and reinforce any cracks transitions or joints between one surface or another step three prime the entire area step four waterproofing with lava 20 step five top coating and anti-slip step one mastic the joints and cracks materials required lpu mastic and a mastic gun or mortar gun 600 gram simply fill and smooth any cracks voids or joints between one surface and another i.e the wall to floor joint as shown here step two priming and prime prime the entire area with l primers you can use the lava 20 super quick prime which cures in 10 to 15 minutes or the quick prime which is a two to four hour cure apply a light layer of the primer over the entire area this will consolidate all the surface and seal any dust etc so prior ensure that the surface was clean and dry and then prime you are now ready to use the lava 20 waterproofing system directly over the concrete now that it has been primed sealed and primed step three taping and reinforcing of cracks and joints materials required fabric polyester tape lava 20 waterproofing liquid and possibly some chop strand matting if required apply a liberal layer of lava 20 over the crack or into the joint the tape is four inches so allow at least five to six inches of material so the tape can be adequately accommodated inside the lava 20 liquid waterproofing base coat then insert the lava 20 polyester fabric tape which will be embedded and soaked into and on top of the lava 20 this will reinforce the lava 20 afterwards install or lay another layer of lava 20 over the tape so you will have installed two layers of lava 20 with some polyester fabric tape in the middle so to recap lava 20 liquid followed by polyester fabric tape or chop strand matting 
followed by more lava 20. Now that all the joints have been reinforced etc you can apply the lava 20 liberally over the entire area. This will create a seamless, flexible, durable, rubber waterproofing system. To install lava 20 the process is simple. Simply mix lava 20 with the catalyst and you can install it in one coat or if you want to do it in two coats you can use catalyst or you can just install it in two coats without catalyst. You should be left with a layer of 2.5 millimeters. When it comes to mixing the catalyst, the cure times are worth taking note of. If you put the full catalyst in, it will cure at its fastest rate, which, is, which gives you a pot life of half an hour and a cure time of three to four hours. It can be top coated very quickly i.e. jobs finished in a day. If you use less catalyst, the cure time will go down pro rata. So a 6 kg uses a 0.180 kg catalyst or 180 grams of catalyst. A 15 kg can of lava 20 uses a 450 gram catalyst and a 25 kg drum of lava 20 uses a 750 gram catalyst if you mix the full catalyst in again this will give you the fastest cure time and it can be walked on on the same day or top coated on the same day which makes lava 20 really fast to install and can be walked on or worked on or top coated very quickly ideal for getting jobs done in tight windows of time and in between showers and bad weather Lava 20 can also be laid in cold temperatures, making it ideal for all European weather conditions. As this is a high traffic area in a hotel, this concrete deck was waterproofed with Lava 20, but needs to be finished with an anti-slip system. For this, we will require some clear top coat, some quartz for the anti-slip finish, and some brushes and rollers. The first step is to apply some Lava 20 clear top coat directly onto the Lava 20 waterproofing system, as shown here. Once you have created a layer of clear top coat over the entire area, it will act like a glue. If you need to mask off any areas, you can use a tape or a masking tape. Once you have applied the base coat of your clear top coat, you can then apply or scatter or throw on your aggregates or quartz as shown here. If you want to get a full broadcast, simply throw all of the aggregate onto the surface until the surface accepts no more. This is called a full broadcast. When it has cured overnight or in a couple of hours, you can come back and brush or hoover off any excess quartz and this will leave you with a surface that is to be sealed with another layer of clear top coat. Once finished, this is a fully sealed, waterproof, anti-slip and impact resistant